Hello and welcome to another iRacing video. Today we are at Watkins Glen, the cup circuit. So we don't go down there, which is the boot. We are on the cup circuit. We are in the Keir Optima. And we are getting close to the start of the race. The Cadillacs have just turned the corner there ahead of us. If you look on the track map at the top right, they are just taking the last corner. Okay, Ian, nice and neat. So we are about to get the green light. <laughs> Go, go, go. And we actually have 10 cars on the grid for the gears, which is amazing. So with the Kia's tyres, you can't actually take this section completely flat. Yellow flag. You just have to lift a little bit. I'm a little bit concerned about this yellow flag. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, you do actually have to lift a little bit. Whereas a lot of the uh, cars I've driven at Watkins Glen, you can take that section just flat. So I'm going to try my usual not to burn out the tyres too much too early. Yeah, a bit of 10 cars. Tiny little feathering on each of the uh, corners there. That's what I find, but other people can do it. Flat, I don't know. You can go right off that. No off track. So Ivan is staying nice and close. You've just done it on seventeen point three. Yeah, so slightly surprisingly, the Kears have got, actually got a bigger creep than the Cadillacs. So, looks like the three of us have broken away a little bit from the rest of the pack. Oh no, there might be four there. Captain Martin behind us now. That's four of us. Time was at on 17.5. Sector 2 is two tenths off the pace. Okay, hold your 
hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Yeah. Ironically, as I say, a slower car, it's actually trickier to get through there in this car than it is in, say, a GT3. Left. Yeah, right, Jim. So carefully not to get an off track of the first corner. So so easy to switch, just pop a little bit over that curb too much. Slid the tyres a bit too much there. Don't want to do that too much. All right, Ian. There's a faster car approaching. Oh. That back marker was that really then catching us up to lap us already. That's back marker. Fastest lap of the race. <laughs> oh, he's going to come through. All right. <laughs> You're right. I have to pull out there a bit. Number three is still staying in reach, only three seconds. It's kind of hoping they might battle a bit more than that. A slower lap as a result You're of that. You're pulling away from the guy behind, the gap's now 2.0 seconds. Good. Confirm the lap time delta at the top of the screen just below the mirror is in relation to my optimum lap time. If I was to string all my sectors together, which 
obviously as you get further into the race that gets trickier and trickier to do. Personally, I prefer the optimal uh, rather than last lap or fastest lap. Because you can just catch a little bit of green, maybe, as you're going through a particular sector rather than. But at least okay, then you yeah. can get an idea of where maybe you could have improved your overall lap. straightened up, squealing those tyres a bit too much while I like it. Almost a bit wide. The faster class cars are catching. Wow, that did not take long. <laughs> The other three are really in it. It's only a couple of tenths between them. There's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. Left side, clear left. <laughs> Survived. Science increased to 5.2. That lap was a 118.2. It's been the hottest day in the UK, I think, today, and it's 27 in this room, and I am Blue flag. proper starting to roast now. That's half distance. The fuel's okay. All so right that's 27 the over the corner there. I'm not sitting in between three screens. <laughs> and this isn't even a particularly physical car. On your right. Right side's clear. Clear right. Survive in the Cadillacs. That was a uh, one seventeen point seven. There's a faster car approaching. I wonder if they're going to say a leader's going to guess twice. I think he's new. Car left. Clear left.
Okay, um, we've passed the class car approaching. Your last lap time was a uh, 117.7. So I don't particularly like having them pulling me up here. Car left. Clear left. Oh, oh three of them for Clear a little while now. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. is now 7.3 seconds. That lap time was on 17.8. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. No rush, Jim. There's no rush. <laughs> he says. Just trying to kick these tires. They're definitely starting to go. So, just a quick reminder, the Kia Optima is a free content car. Uh, Watkins Glen is not, but you do have to pay for the track. That lap time was 118.0. You're a tenth off the pace in Sector 2. And, as always, obviously you have the iRacing subscription anyway. So, you still have to pay for that to actually access your content. Definitely starting to lose some of their uh, front end grip. I don't exactly have a huge amount to start with. <laughs> That's what I actually quite like about it. It's quite a challenge to get the car to grip up. Okay, Ian, the lap times are pretty consistent. I just wish I could transfer some of this sort of slightly more calmer driving to some of the other cars. I just find I'm a little bit more on edge than them. Oh, I've got so <laughs> it's so <laughs> so hot. Mm. 
Isn't it nice? Would it be like if I was racing that Formula 4? You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 9.8. Five minutes left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. I'm trying, Jim. I'm trying. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Lap time's consistent. this with a incident free race after yesterday's utter disaster in the uh, Formula Ford Formula Ford Formula 4 that massive 0.4 safety rating loss <laughs> Whole of the runoff area. Place. Cadillac not far behind, and I think the leader is definitely going to lap us again. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Master car behind. last lap? No. Alright Ian, there's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Not again, he's white.
more lap to go. Stay focused. Come on. Don't need any heroics in the last lap. Just gonna see. Okay, Ian. There's a faster car approaching. Faster car behind me. Hopefully, he's more sensible. It's not like he's in a fight for anything. On your right. He is. Clear right. Yes! I'm well, pleased with that. That was a nice drive. Quite consistent lap times as well. That's a win. Great job. Well done. Oh, cheers, Jim. Thank you, everybody. Don't go off. Just because it's the warm down lap still counts. Thank you. Woohoo! Had a great battle behind him. <laughs> Already finished. Oh, I've got a couple more still to go round. Oh, thank you, thank you. Got to make the most of it. Thank you, Fire Marshal. I think that's it. Yep, everybody's across the line. Oh, well, I'm all the way around. I might as well park it in the pits now. And then we'll uh, take a look at the incidents. The pit lane speed limit is 64 kilometres per hour. He's all the way down the bottom. Now, didn't have to pit doing that race. Box in. A five. Four. Three. Two. One. Box now. Oops. Right. Let's have a look at the uh, replay. Let's see what incidents we got. Okay. Okay, let me just get rid of that overlay. Dunk. There we go. The incidents we've got. Oh dear, straight into the. I'm going to have to give the Cadillacs a go one day. They're another free car, so I think I'll have to uh, give them a run out. Oh, uh, did he actually touch the barrier? Oh, 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 Times have we seen the same one? Whoa, 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 whoa! Rewind, rewind. Oh no, it's just too fast. I think. Oh. I mean, you must have been going at a reasonable speed to make it all the way over there. Oh, bit of damage there. I think this could be just curbage jumping. Yeah, 
I suspect we're going to get a lot of curve jumps. What's this going to be a... Oh no, it's not. I thought for a minute that. Kier was in trouble. Whoa! Whoa! Thing must have stiff suspension. Oh, all the action is just. Uh, is it really gonna just be Cadillac's bouncing off the curb? Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna hit the ball, isn't he? Yep. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa! That's like a rocket ship going off there. Is that the right car? You watch this kid, he's just rockets. Oh, oh dear. Herbs. It's exciting to see a car go over curbs, but there's only so many times. It's exciting. Oh! Bit of wall. He's blown his engine. I'm guessing this is either the end of the race or he accidentally blew his engine. Oh! oh I thought they were going to actually. Uh... Oh! <laughs> they do. something lead to that? Is it just a... Oh, no, he's all on his own by looks of it. After you, sir. Here we go. Oh, it's a long, quite a long way back to be trying that, it seems. I think the other guy knew that. <laughs> oh, this could get... Oh, it's getting... Yeah, what the... I wanted to get together. Ah, oh, curves. I'm just going to assume it's curves whenever I see a Cadillac going towards the chicane. I might be wrong, but I'm going to assume it. Oh, he's quite close to the grass. I thought for a minute he might. Oh! This is lively. Or not. It's just Kier's hitting the curb. No. No. Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. This is something's got to happen here. No. Just curbs again. Oh, oh, oh. No. Yes! We've got a spinner. Oh. Just love how the marshals just casually chat on. Cars just exploded in front of them. But hey! And that is it. We are there. Let's see what we've got. Safety rating and I ratings. Results for the race are in. So we've gained plus 12. That's not a huge amount for a race with zero incidents. Um, uh, plus 43 for our I rating. It was the top split. There was actually three splits. Wow. Um, okay. So Cadillacs. The biggest gainer is this guy, car number 11. I'm not going to announce it because I can't. So it's plus 55. Uh, the biggest loser in the Cadillacs which should be Zhao with a minus 86. The biggest gainer in the Kia is actually 
I wasn't expecting it to be me, but it is by one point with a plus 43. And the biggest loser in the keys looks to be Claudio with the minus 76. There we go. Another enjoyable event in the Kia Optima, the free content car of iRacing. So there we go. Yep, I enjoyed it. Wasn't the most exciting battle, unfortunately. Did stay out front. But I think it's one of these things I'm hoping anybody that watches this gets to learn how to drive the Kia. Um, I'm not in any way, shape or form suggesting I'm a fast driver. Um, but it's it's definitely that thing of not pushing those tyres too early in the race. So you may have noticed the guys directly behind me were quite close for the good five laps or so. But I was purposely not pushing. I definitely think I could have hit a 116 lap time. But I was holding it back and then I was able to keep the consistent, I think I was hitting 117.6 seconds sevens etc for most of the race actually let's take a quick look uh my yes yeah, so my average lap for the whole race was actually 118.5 um, and then the other guy the second guy in our class was 119.3 so 0.8 of a second on average um i was faster so it, but his lap time his fastest lap time was only 0.2 in fact less than that it's 1.3 um yeah so it is just about not pushing too fast, sorry, too early um, in the kit and just keeping those tyres in a nice little sweet spot. Um, and you, yeah, you can tend to keep your pace up quite well. Anyway, as always, if you manage to stay here till the end, thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.